how fast can I make $100 with DoorDash only? I'm about to find out and the timer has already started. It took a few minutes to drive to the hotspot and while I was doing that, I was declining quite a few orders. We didn't want to take any of those and when we got close to the good hotspot, I got this order for McDonald's for $8.50 and with the $2 peak pay on right now, I think it's a pretty good order and we might have to wait a few minutes to get picked up, but that's just McDonald's for you. Order was ready before we walked in. Let's go. We got a little more than $8.50 on that one, $9. We're now 9% of the way there to 100. And it's only been about 18 minutes, so that's pretty nice. We're driving the two miles back to the hotspot and see what else we can get. Got about five declines in, and we were still heading back to the hotspot. Picked up this one for $11, 5.6 miles. The mileage is high, higher than I would like because it's taking me away from the hotspot, but it's gonna be quick. The order was just sitting there on the counter waiting for me to pick it up. That's one of the main reasons why I accepted this order because I knew it was a good restaurant. It took a few minutes just because there was a lot of people in there trying to get their food at the same time. And another reason why I accepted this order is because it was all on the freeway. It only took about five or six minutes to get there, even though it was a four mile drive. And now we just gotta take that road all the way back. Got back to the hot spot, and I'm trying to remember, I don't know if we declined an order before we got this one for Chick-fil-A, $6.50. I got it because <laughs> it said 10 items. So I thought it was gonna be really expensive. I guess it was only like 40 or $50. So. I don't know if there's gonna be a huge tip on this one, but I still think it's a good offer. We were able to finish up that order before the first hour was over, $7.50 on that one. Like I said, when I accepted it, I thought it was gonna be a little bit higher than $7.50. That's okay though, we are at $28.50 in the first hour and just using DoorDash, I'd say that's pretty good. Now we are moving on to Squares Bakery. This one is $7.00. It's 4.2 miles, which is a little bit higher than I would like, but it's basically taking me back in the same area as that Chick-fil-A order. So I barely had to move my car at all to get to this restaurant. Order was ready before we walked in to the restaurant. That's happened every single time today, except for one for Chick-fil-A, but those are never ready. And I only had to wait a couple minutes there. So then we drove it off to the customer, got $9 instead of seven, and it brought us right back to a pretty good hot spot where we are picking up this Panera bread order for $6.75. This could be more than what we saw on the acceptance screen. And there's about a 95% chance that the order is gonna be sitting there right on the shelf. It's 12.35 right now, and the restaurant said that they have the order right there, but it pickup time is supposed to be what, 1.07 p.m. So <laughs> uh, they're gonna make it right now. It's gonna take like five minutes. I don't know if that, I doubt that's the restaurant's fault. I mean, the restaurant almost always has the orders ready. So I don't know if DoorDash just sent me the order early for absolutely no reason. I guess they did. So I'm waiting. Okay, we got the bag. We'll put it in a hot bag and let's go. About 10 minutes total in Panera, not great. After we left the restaurant, everything was pretty good. Dropped it off at their condo and we got more than 675. It was 950. So that means we're at $47 right now and we're heading to Rubio's to pick up a $7.25 order. And maybe this one's higher than 725. I just got the worst news ever. Sadly, I will have to fill up two drinks when I go in there because this place does not do it for me. And with a crazy turn of events, the drinks were already filled up before we walked in there. This one's gonna bring me to about $55, maybe a little bit more, and we'll go from there. Jump in hot spots again, and hopefully we don't have to drive anywhere to receive another order. Okay, well, I'm dropping off the order. They told me to meet in front of this truck. Nobody's here. I tried to call him, text him, nothing. I tried calling three times. I tried texting three times, sent him a picture of where the food is. I'm just letting the timer run out before I can take a picture and leave. Got like one minute left while that timer's running down, my timer's running up. I understand that that person was probably working, doing their job, but if you know that a food delivery is coming within the next five minutes, you should probably answer your phone. <laughs> At least like the third time I called because that's just frustrating to have to wait five minutes doing no orders, just sitting there waiting. Uh, man, timer ran out, took a picture. I uh, had the picture ready to go actually. And then 
just uh, put in the order notes where the food was. I left it exactly where they wanted me to, right next to the truck, and moving on. Thai chili here for $7.50. Not the best order ever. Four miles is okay, it's just not really the best. Normally I would have Uber Eats alongside DoorDash to try to find me the best order possible, but you know, I just want to be not too selective because I don't know if I reject this one, maybe a worse one's gonna come to my phone. It's always great when they have the orders just sitting there right on the counter. After dropping that one off and receiving a little bit more than $7.50, we're now sitting at $63. $37 left in this challenge and we're coming up on two and a half hours. I was getting pretty worried because it's almost 2 p.m. right now. It's supposed to be pretty slow, like lunch is basically over at this point. So I'm just like driving around, trying to get to the best possible area to park my car. And then I get this one for five guys, $6.50. I saw that there's eight items on this one. So, <laughs> I mean, I think every single order I've taken today has been more than what we saw on the acceptance screen. So hopefully that's the case with this one. And there's five guys right there. Four bottles and the bags in here, but there's no fries, which means the order was ready when we walked in. All right, that delivery did not take very long at all. And we got $10. That's so fantastic. On to Jersey Mike's, $6.75, under three miles. Let's see if we can get over $80 after this delivery. It looks like it's the first time all day that we did not receive more than what we saw on the acceptance screen. I mean, that was a pretty decent order. It was ready when we got to the counter. So just picked it up and we went to go drop it off. Nice, easy drop off. Uh, but we did not get more than $6.75. That's probably the first time all day that's happened. And now we are going to Safeway. This one is $9.75. It's just after 2 p.m., so it's kind of slow. So you just got to take anything. It's I know it's five miles. I don't know if the customer can tip on these ones. I'm trying to experiment with as many of these as I can to find out if it's ever going to be more than $9.75 when we drop it off. So we are going to be at about $90 if it's not more than what we saw on the acceptance screen. I think that's going to be okay. We just need like one or two more orders after this one and then we'll be done. Yes, these grocery store orders take longer than normal restaurant delivery because the orders just aren't going to be sitting there waiting for you to just grab them and go. Uh, but I didn't have to shop for these. We just... Uh, talk to the person that's working at the drive up and go station and then you say the customer's name they fill up your cart and then you're on your way and of course it takes more time to fill up your car with all the grocery bags and everything but it really wasn't that bad i was at the store for about like eight minutes oh this is so heavy oh my goodness whoa that's weird. That's so strange. I got so much for that order. Uh, it said $9.75 when I accepted it. It turns out there's $4.25 base pay, even though it said DoorDash pay is gonna be $9.75 and DoorDash pay was only $4.25. And I guess the rest of that was the tip, which means we got $100, $100.91. Stop the timer. How did we do? under three and a half hours i'd say that's a great day especially just for working this weekday lunch shift that's actually what i'm going to be working this whole series long this is not just one video the next video in this series will probably be making a hundred dollars as fast as i can with uber eats that's what i'm looking forward to coming up in the next week or so probably coming out in about two weeks so if you want to watch that video stay tuned on my channel and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.